22Q.11.2 Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting the needs of families and individuals affected by chromosome differences. They promote awareness, get people connected with state-of-the-art clinical care, support cutting-edge research and endeavors, and provide solidarity with related associations around the globe. So here off of another successful awareness event, 22Q at the Zoo, we are welcoming Lacey and Jonathan Wright. So thank you both for being here. I, I saw the pictures. Yeah. I love anything that happens at the zoo because I feel like it's one of Fresno's greatest little treasures that we have. So before we talk about the event, before we talk about all the awareness that we're bringing, we'll bring a little more awareness to it. What is, it's 22Q.11.2. Uh, 22 22. Yes. What is this? That's the full name. Okay. Uh, so 22Q is a genetic condition associated with the 22nd chromosome. And there's two variations. There's a deletion, meaning that a piece of the second, 22nd chromosome is missing, or there's a duplication, meaning that there's an extra piece. So along with that comes a lot of different symptoms, uh, things like autism, uh, ADHD, heart defects, cleft palate, uh, just a number of different things, and it varies based on the individual. So uh, we're just, you know, we're so this can this can manifest in a number of different ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so how how do people even know that they have this this genetic modification? Usually uh, you find some of those other symptoms first. And so in our case, my oldest son, uh, Lacey's oldest brother, has 22Q. Uh -huh. um, we, he had several different symptoms throughout the first several years of his life. Uh, the deletion is more common, uh, or at least is diagnosed more, and that's typically diagnosed around uh, four months or so, so very early in life. Okay. Uh, and that typically comes with uh, generally the more severe things like the heart defects mm -hmm. and, and that type of thing. Uh, our, our loved one has the duplication, uh, which can kind of hide a little bit more. Uh, it can be a little bit harder to detect, although it's typically diagnosed around age four. Uh, in our case, Elijah was diagnosed at age 11. So, Do you treat the symptoms of this difference in the genetic code, or do you treat the genetics? Uh, you treat the symptoms. The symptoms, yes. right. Mm -hmm. So it can manifest in a number of different ways, so people can experience in a number of ways. Yeah. So you want to bring awareness about it. You want to bring all these people together. Mm -hmm. And so 22Q at the zoo, what is it? Yeah, so 22Q at the Zoo is um, the International Foundation's main event, and so they have multiple events throughout the year, but that's like their main one. It's a global event, and so it takes place in 30 different countries across the world. So they come together and they raise awareness through allowing families to come to the zoo and enjoy, um, you know, wearing red to support 22Q and um, just doing some fun activities, and so my family actually got to host the first 22Q at the zoo event at Fresno Chaffee Zoo yesterday. Oh, fun! Um, Wait, that was our first one? It was. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow! Okay, so how did it go? It was really great. We got to welcome a lot of different families from, like, as far as, like, Sacramento and even some locally. So we, it was a wide range of different people that got to experience it. But our main sponsor, A Kid Again, yes. they got to... Well, they helped to pay for the tickets to oh, okay. for the admission tickets, but also for giraffe feeding for the kids. Oh yeah. So they were very important. That's part my favorite of that. part. That's my favorite part of the zoo. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a kid again. That's the main sponsor. Uh, tell us more about that organization. Yeah. So a kid again is an excellent a nonprofit. They're based out of Ohio, although they just started a California tra uh, chapter, or, or they're in the process of getting that up and mm -hmm. going. Uh, and what they do is that they they call it giving an il giving illness a timeout. Uh, so they provide adventures and just different yeah. activities for families of people with qualifying medical conditions to uh, just make memories together. Uh, and right. it can be something as simple as an activity they do at home or it can be an adventure they go on to the zoo in this case or uh, a sporting event or, or different things like that. So Yeah, taking a break is so important sometimes yeah. because w if, you, if you've got this illness that's severe, it can feel like your whole world sort of revolves around that. So yeah. taking a break and hanging out at the zoo. Do we know why the zoo is the place for this uh, event around the globe? Do we just like it because it rhymes? I mean, I like it because <laughs> it rhymes. Do we know why? 
Um, well, it's not specifically at the zoo. That's kind of the name, but it's also had at aquariums oh, and different okay. places. Um, so it's not specifically to a zoo, but um, but that's we, kind of but we what like they the <laughs> yeah. I like the name because it rhymes. So can you can you talk more about uh, the International Foundation of 22Q? Yeah, so that's a nonprofit. It's actually their 20th year of being a nonprofit, and so. Um, yeah, the International Foundation, they raise awareness for 22Q through different events that they mm -hmm. do throughout the year, specifically the 22Q at the zoo um, event. If we, if somebody watching is like, oh, I've got a kid who, who has this uh, genetic modification or I know somebody, how can they get in touch with like you guys or the, or the organization as a whole? Yeah, so... Um, if you go to the, their website, 22q.org, they have a lot of resources there where you can, um, you know, they can connect you to different, like, doctors and yeah. specialists, but also, um, you know, they can contact events us as well. And, yeah. and, and hangouts, and yeah. Yeah. so that you can, you know, you can get with people who are going through the same things yeah. as you guys are. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm glad that you were here so you could teach me a little bit about it. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. We'll have more information on the international organization on our website as well. Coming up here on Central Valley today, the Valley Animal Center joins us on this M Monday to get this adorable, adoptable into a loving home. We meet Sadie after the break.